Hey, here's a quick demo of what's possible with <clears throat> automating Asana using Tray.io. Um, so in Asana, if I have a test project here and some tasks, and the tasks are dependent on one another, uh, this is built into Asana Enterprise. I can go into the timeline view, and if I drag one early event uh, after some of the others, it'll auto-adjust the other ones uh, and push them back. Same thing works in the other direction. Um, if I only grab one in the middle, then the, the end one stays where it is. So that's that's built in, um, but you have to use the timeline, and it only works for tasks. Um, subtasks will not show up. So here in this uh, project, move myself out of the way, there's um, subtasks, but these, these won't appear in your, your timeline. So you can't do that with, with, with the built-in features. Um, but using the webhook uh, and the API, uh, you can build this automation yourself. It's a little slow. Um, but here I changed the first subtask to March 1st. Uh, and you can see subtask one blocks subtask two, subtask two blocks subtask three, and so on down the line. Um, and you could imagine this being set up as like a template task for some larger um, piece of work where you always have sub steps um, that, you, that then you duplicate the whole task. You can see right there uh, the second date jumped to March third, um, so it takes a few sec. It takes quite a few seconds in between steps, but um, it will cascade itself through. Um, let's wait for one more to update. Uh, I preset it to do two days in between. Uh, events just while I'm testing this out. So there you go. Um, so using Trey, it's kind of a, a automation platform. So they have some nifty um, tools that make it really easy to use the Asana API. You could probably build this yourself. Um, you know, you have like a home server uh, and just set up a, a webhook and um, use use the API uh, if it's available to you. So in the webhook, um, I'm triggering on the project. So the, the resource I'm watching is that entire project. Um, this is the way webhooks are set up in Asana. Um, I'm triggering on a changed action on the do on field. Uh, and resource subtype, default task, resource type task. Um, that includes subtasks. There is no subtask type, go figure. Um, so fortunately this works for both. If you only wanted this to affect subtasks, uh, you would just have to add that logic in um, later down the chain. So the webhook triggers, uh, you can get multiple webhooks at the same time. So I loop through all the webhooks, that's this next step. Um, then I take the task that triggered and I get all the details of that task. Um, then that those details don't include dependencies. So I get the dependence here. Uh, just for this demo, I only went one way, so the dates won't cascade backwards, but you could build that into. Um, you just use, you would use get dependencies uh, and have to build both sets of logic. Um, it's also possible the webhook would give you not tasks. Um, so you, you would want to filter out uh, or check that what you're getting is in fact a task, not some other type of entity from Asana. Um, so I get a list of all the dependents. Um, I loop through those. In this case, there's only one, but there could be multiple. Um, and then I grab the date and the due date from the get task that I did earlier, and I add to that two days. Uh, and then I update the dependent task with uh, then that new old due date plus two days. Um, could or I probably will build more logic to to factor in the start date uh, and the due date of a task if it has a, a range um, and to adjust accordingly. Um, I also might, and you can see here, they've all updated in March. I also might end up doing something like putting in a, a custom field um, that is a number um, and calling it like days effort. Um, not, I don't recommend tracking work this way, but uh, or tracking like level of effort estimation this way. Um, but I might do something like one, two, five, and then use this field. Um, instead of adding two days every time, just add you know one day or five days, depending on which how long that perceived task takes. Um, just depends how the team wants it set up. I might, I might work with it different ways um, as opposed to implementing the like date range solution that, that the timeline uses in Asana. But yeah, you could probably do this in any, any, uh, lots of other ways, uh, but this was, this is, this works.